Hello and welcome everyone. Today we shall discuss another topic that is lipotropic factors after a very long time. As you can see here, this is a healthy liver and it is healthy because it is supplied richly by the lipotropic factors. And this is a liver that is crying for help and that is because it is deficient of lipotropic factors. So what are these lipotropic factors and how do they work? This is what we are going to discuss today. Accumulation of abnormal quantities of fat or lipid, approximately 25 to 30 percent of the lipid in form of triacylglycerol in liver is called fatty infiltration of liver. So the actual function of liver is to synthesize fats, storage is not the function and when it starts getting stored in the liver, it causes fatty infiltration of liver. So this is a normal liver cell and uh, with the accumulation of fats, the liver cells undergo some changes and the shape of the hepatocytes also changes and these are called fatty changes in the hepatocytes. So this fatty changes in the hepatocytes leads to increase in the amount of lipids in the hepatocytes and this is known as non-alcoholic fatty liver. With further accumulation, there are fibrotic changes in the cell and this is known as non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. As the fibrotic changes advance, it leads to cirrhosis and which causes permanent damage to the liver cells. So now we come to the topic lipotropic factors after a brief introduction about fatty infiltration of hepatocytes. So lipotropic factors are substances that play active role in the removal of fat from the liver by different mechanisms. So they prevent the risk of developing fatty liver and are known as lipotropic factors. These compounds include choline, inositol, methionine, betaine, vitamin E, selenium and omega-3 fatty acids. You can see two different pictures here. This is a healthy liver uh, picture where the hepatocytes are laden with small yellow colored droplets. These are triacylglycerol droplets which are very small and the nucleus is in the center of each cell. So this is a healthy liver and from this picture you can see that the influx of the lipids is influx and outflux are in a balance. Now this is a picture of the injured liver where the nucleus has been pushed to the periphery and these droplets have grown in size in the injured liver. So more space is being occupied by the lipids or the triacylglycerol. So influx of lipids is more whereas efflux is less. So now let's proceed to the next. The mechanism of lipotropic factors. So let us see how these lipotropic factors work. Lipotropic factors are basically required for norm, removal of normal mobilization required for the normal mobilization of fat from the liver. They prevent accumulation of fats in the liver and this phenomenon is known as lipotropism. The dietary deficiency of these factors can result in fatty liver. So choline and inositol are two examples. The Second group of examples include methionine and betaine. Let us see their mechanism of 
protecting the accumulation protecting the hepatocytes from accumulation of triacylglycerol so choline is a principal lipotropic factor of our body it's a constituent of phospholipids and the choline is responsible for forming phosphatidyl choline which is also known as lecithin and inositol is needed for the formation of phosphatidyl inositol both are integral components of lipoprotein vldl now when there is sufficient amount of choline and inositol then lecithin and phosphatidyl inositol will form and that will lead to vldl synthesis when vldls are synthesized they will export all the triacylglycerol from the hepatocyte to the peripheral tissue methionine and betaine are methyl donors they are required for the synthesis or formation of lecithin which is a constituent of phospholipid they are methionine acts as s adenosyl methionine it's a methyl group donor for the formation of choline choline is required for the formation of lecithin it is also required for the synthesis of carnitine carnitine is a uh, transporter for fatty acids for the oxidation of fats and it is synthesized from lysine and methionine so when choline and inositol are deficient then there will be decreased phosphatidyl choline so there will be decreased vldl synthesis and that will lead to decreased triacylglycerol export causing accumulation of lipids in the fat in the liver leading to fatty liver when methionine and betaine are low in quantity in our body the formation of lecithin will decrease and that will lead to decreased formation of choline and it will also lead to decreased carnitine synthesis therefore decreased oxidation of fats and all these will again lead to accumulation of fat in the liver and which will eventually lead to fatty liver the third group of lipotropic factors include vitamin e and selenium and the fourth group includes vitamin b12 and folic acid whereas the fifth group includes essential fatty acids now vitamin e and selenium are antioxidants and they prevent the oxidation of unsaturated fatty acids and lipids and therefore they prevent oxidative stress so when vitamin e and selenium are deficient there is increased oxidative stress in the body which further causes injury to the hepatocytes which are laden with lipids b12 and folic acid are needed for the formation of methionine and homocysteine metabolism and when b12 and folic acid are deficient methionine synthesis will decrease which will lead to decreased choline synthesis and that will further lead to decrease phospholipid synthesis which are necessary for vldl synthesis and triacylglycerol export essential fatty acids are required for formation of phospholipids so for example arachidonic acid so the protective effect uh, of essential fatty acids is uh, given by the essential fatty acid because they will form phospholipids which will in turn be responsible for vldl synthesis and export of triacylglycerol from the liver if essential fatty acids are low in the diet then it will lead to decreased export of triacylglycerol from the liver all these factors will cause fatty liver so i hope by now you know that there are 
different lipotropic factors the most important lipotropic factor or the principal lipotropic factor is choline and these factors are necessary for prevention of fatty liver so they protect the liver by facilitating removal of triacylglycerol from the liver it is done by two processes one is by synthesis of vldl and second is by synthesis of phospholipid choline so these are the uh, phospholipid for which choline is necessary so hope you understood keep watching my channel and keep subscribing thank you